Good morning. Today I'm riding some of the riverside shared paths in Launceston. And one thing I want to do is find out if I can ride between Kings Park and Riverside. Normally I do this on the main road. I would love to be able to do it on a shared path. Let's go and have a look. In this part of town there are some old hulks. Lots of discussion about getting rid of them and they never seem to go anywhere. That was one of them. On our left is a much-loved children's climbing frame. Isn't it big? And wouldn't you have loved to have climbed up there as a child? And slid down all those slides. Now, I've just spotted over on my right, washed up against the shared path bridge, seems to be a piece of a, probably a loading ramp from the rowing club or something similar. It looks like the floodwaters from the South Esk have washed it up against the bridge because the, this is the North Esk we're crossing and it actually flows the other way from left to right whereas this thing has been washed up from right to left. Okay, we're about to start the part of the track that I'm going to investigate. First of all, we pass through a small cafe area here. Very nice place to use. Sue and I walk the dog down there, sit there, have a coffee and talk to other dog, dog people. Right, now I have come along this bit before and it gets a bit tricky in some areas where the footpath goes past buildings that have car parks and it was, seems that some of the people didn't want to share the car park with cyclists. And we got this far. So I've got no idea what happens after this. I just wish I had taken the bag off the front of the bike, folded the bike and walked both up separately. The bridge you can see over there is the first bridge crossing of the South Esk in Launceston. Uh, that bit you can see was a like an IKEA bridge we bought from England and it was remade when it arrived in Launceston. I can't remember how long ago, a long time ago. It was actually cast iron the first bit. That bit was soon 
overwhelmed and they needed a second lane, so they ordered a second one from England. By then, technology had moved on, and that one was made of wrought iron. We're now riding down a shared path that runs parallel to the West Tamar Highway. To my right, there is another path, but currently that's underwater, very boggy. Uh, so this bit of track goes on for quite a long way until we arrive at a right hand turn here which takes us away from the highway and heads towards the tail race at Riverside. The tail race is a like a sports ground, a kids playground area uh, plus the outfall from a small power station. The two are separate. These trees here, they're called paper barks, and they are in have this lovely white flower all over them at the moment. Yep, there's a football there. We must be getting close to the sports ground. And we were, and it was a steep uphill here. It even had the camera wobbling as I went from side to side to do the climb. On through the sporting area, we come out to the walking area, which runs down through uh, wetlands, including more paperbark trees. And we arrive at the end. So, <clears throat> mission accomplished. I now know how to get from Riverside into Launceston without being on the highway. Terrific! <laughs>